Hi everyone, my name's Eddie Harold. I'm the president of Go Be Great and I'm so excited to have you with me here today. I have a 25 minute workout that you're going to do today. It combines a fusion of dumbbell weights, yoga, yoga pranayama and breathing and breath regulation along with meditation and concentration. And all of the workout routines that I lead folks through, whether it be in athletics or in the healthcare field or in corporate America, I'm always trying to get the most out of the least without losing quality standards. So for me, that always begins with breath control. Nasal dominance breathing and breath regulation controls can stimulate a cardiovascular response in our pulmonary system simply by controlling the breath and creating sweat from our GI tract and the movement of the diaphragm amplifying the vagus nerve, which is a primary nerve in regard to the rest and digest and the integration of the exercise routine once you're done. Number two, I want to provide a great stretch. Stretching is so important to keep our, our limbs limber, to keep our muscles and fascia elastic and dynamic, and we have some core stabilization as we move the body in and out against the angles of gravity. I always want to work on strength training, but I don't want to overdo the strength training. So the strength training is designed to tone and to create stability. It's not to put a lot of extra weight on the outer shelf of the ribs, making it more difficult for the ribs to expand on the inhale. I want to have a strong low back and I want to have strong leg muscles, strong thigh muscles barreling down into the muscles of the feet. I also want to have concentration, meditation, absorption, flow states to what I'm doing so that I'm using my whole brain when I work out, not just the part of the brain that I use at work when I'm rationalizing and creating concepts and strategies on how to create revenue and relationships. So when I'm working out, this is my time and I want to use my whole brain, not just my left prefrontal cortex, but my right prefrontal cortex. And when we use whole brain strategies, it's really easy for us to transform our life and improve almost naturally and organically and evolve our skill sets to our full potential before it's too late. So, so I, I really hope you enjoy this video. This is an evolution of all the work that I've been doing for the past 20 years professionally along with my childhood athletic endeavors and blending and hybriding and creating fusion of all the different systems that are available to us on earth we become more powerful in our healthcare routine and will live vibrantly long into our later years. Thanks for watching. Go be great. Feet together. Ocean sounding breath hinging from the hips. Five long deep cleansing breaths warming up the back of the body and the back of the mind. Rotating the weights, curling the elbows taking the feet out a little bit wider and dropping in to a squat lifting the buttocks slightly engaging your core and just warming up the bicep the deltoid five long slow deep ocean sounding breaths breathing through the nose diaphragmatically breathing completing the inhale and completing the exhale just warming up bringing the feet back together <clears throat> and letting the right hand come down onto the ground locking the right elbow and lifting the left buttock up and bending the right knee slightly looking to the left and sweeping the left arm up and down four more inhale exhale Weights come back and frame the foot and kick the left foot back 
and track the right knee forward. Press out through the back heel, lift the weights. Bring the hands up into a push-up position. And shoulder press, five rounds, ocean sound. Hands come down and just hinge out from the hip, press out through the left heel, strengthen your low back. Inhale, sweep up, exhale, sweep back. Hands come down, resting breath. Deep breath in, deep breath out, all through the nose. Bring the right hand and the weight in on the inside. Drop the left heel down. Press the right arm against the leg. Five rounds, sweep the left arm up. Open the chest, exhale down. Resting breath, let the weights frame the foot. Straighten the right leg, draw the left arch in slightly. And fold down, open the back of the right leg. Resting breath. Draw the heel and the arch closer together, engaging the pelvic floor, engage the core of the abdomen. Bring the right hand back inside. And triangle, take the left arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Let the elbow lead you up. Open the chest. Extension. One more. And come down. Resting breath. Dive down. Pivot yourself around to your left. Engage your feet. Engage your inner thighs. And slide to the right. Lift the right buttock slightly. Squeeze your thighs now. And flush. Cleansing breath. And lift the right buttock, straighten the right leg. Soften the left knee, lift the left buttock, sink down. Drop to your desired level of sensation. Engage your cleansing breath and then squeeze the legs. And flush. Lift the left buttock, come back to neutral. Bring the right hand and the right dumbbell underneath and lock the right elbow. Take the left arm out and up. Exhale down, twist. Inhale up, exhale down. Face is soft. comes down. Left hand underneath the face, lock the left elbow. Sweep the right elbow out. comes down, soften the right knee, 
and breathe. Walk your hands towards the right foot. Take a deep breath in. Lift the buttock. And lift the weights off the ground. Spine is straight. Engage the core. Feel the connection between the right rotator and the left adductor. Strong core. Squeeze the thighs now. Flush. Weights come back to the ground. Lift the right buttock, come back to neutral. Walk the weights underneath you. Soften the left hip, the left knee. Sink down, walk the hands towards the left foot. Engage the left rotator and the right adductor. Lift the weight slightly off the ground. Engage your core. Lift the buttocks slightly. Straight spine. Five breaths. Hands walk back to center. Lift the left buttock. Come back. And take the dumbbells. Walk them towards the left foot. Let the right hand come down. And turn the right hand now. Lift the buttock. Take the left hand out and up. And twist your thoracic spine. Exhale down with control. Four more. Coming down, resting breath. Bring the dumbbells back underneath the face. Good job. Walk the dumbbells to the right. Closer to the right foot. Turn the left hand down. Lock the left elbow. Engage the left lats. Take the right arm out five times. Twist. Cleanse your thoracic vertebra, your kidneys, your adrenal glands. Move with control, using the weight and gravity to create a deeper workout. Come down. Walk your hands back underneath you. Bend the right knee and bring your hand onto the right knee. Sink down. Let the left hand wrap up the right foot. Engage your core. Now pull the upper torso to the left and look right. Sink down into your core. Take your right hand out and down. <laughs> And release. Lifting up and dropping down. Left hand, left knee. Secure the knee ligaments and sink down. Grab the right hand on the left foot. And five rounds. Sweeping up. Keep the lower body mechanics strong and structured. Use the breath to create stability and then mobility on the exhale. Coming down. Hmm. Resting breath. And walk the weights over to the left foot. And bring the right dumbbell in line with the left foot. Turn the right hand down, pull to the right, and open from the right scapula out to the right deltoid and tricep. Engage your core and try to get your weight 50-50 into each thigh. Wow. 
We're going to work the lumbar and the sacrum here. Work the core. Five rounds. Inhale. Twist. Exhale down. Four more. Coming down, walking the weights back underneath you, taking a resting breath, bringing the heart rate back down, breathing through the nostrils and an ocean sound in your throat. Engaging your thighs, grounding your feet, and letting the weights come towards the right foot. Taking the left dumbbell, placing it in front of the right foot, turning the left hand down and pulling to the left, and then inhale, five rounds, inhale up, twist your low back, exhale down with control. weights back to center. Bringing your feet a little closer together and then dropping down with your arms against your legs and just dropping into a squat. Five breaths here. Open the chest. Long spine. Inhale, breathing down the spine to the pelvic floor. Exhale, up the center of the spine into the center of the brain. Three more breaths. Pivoting yourself to the left side of your mat and kicking the right foot up to join the left. Folding down five breaths. Come out a little wider, rotate the arms, rotate the thumbs externally, and sink down into a squat and little baby bicep curls. Extension and inflection through the bicep and tricep lines. <clears throat> come down, feet come together, bring the left hand and the left dumbbell underneath your face and lift the right buttock up and bend the left knee slightly so you're engaging the back of the right leg from the back of the femoral head to the back of the calcaneus or heel plate. You're softening the left knee so you can feel the four quadricep coils, the shin and the front of the ankle. Grounding yourself down, five rounds. Inhale up, twist, exhale down. Link the breath with movement. Resting breath. Kick the right foot to the back of your mat. Press out through the back heel. Slide the left knee forward. Take the weights 
off the ground. Shoulder press. Press out through the back heel five rounds. Hands come down, hinge from the hips, hands come back. Exhale, press out through the back heel, inhale up. Exhale down. Hinging down, dropping the right heel down, bringing the dumbbell on the inside of the left leg, left arm drapes up, creates a bond with the inside line. Strong left arm, I'm going to try to open the chest, ground the lower body, ocean sounding breath, breathing as slowly as you can, linking breath with movement. comes down, left dumbbell frames, straighten the front leg, engage the back leg, and draw the heel and arch closer together, and feel the inside line of the right leg, the right adductor, and the back of the left leg, from behind the knee hinge to the base of the buttock, engaging hamstring. Left dumbbell comes back on the inside, and five rounds. Come back and frame the foot. Resting breath. And bring the weights back to the neutral position. Finishing off that series. Drawing your heels in and dropping down. Splaying the feet out slightly. Five rounds little mini presses. If you wanted to do it a little more aggressively or add some extra heat, breathe Kapalabhati or performance breathing. <laughs> Weights come down. Deep breath in. Drop down onto your hands and knees, exhale, sink back. Bring the left hand up, take the left thumb, close off the left nostril, inhale up the right nostril into the left cortex and hold the breath in. Close off the right, release, exhale at the left. Inhale up the left. Retend the breath. Close off the left, exhale right. Inhale your arms overhead. Hold in. Exhale your hands out. Bring them back behind you. Open the chest. Breathe down the front of the spine. Strong lower body. Tops of the feet pressing down. If you wish, take your hands back behind you. Interlace your fingers. Pull back and down. Open the throat area. Open the thyroid. Open the cervical spine. Relax. 
trying to get open around the shoulder girdle and rib one, two, and three. Really important for cardio athletes. So we can use the full six liters of each lung during the process of inhale and exhale. Hands come back. Next breath. Inhale 50% of your capacity. Pause and count to three. Fill your lungs with the remaining 50% and hold the breath in for six. Exhale 100%. Inhale 100%. Hold the breath in. Exhale 50% and hold the breath out for a three count. Exhale the remaining waist and hold the breath out for a six count. Resting breath. Bring the heart rate back down. Stay with the exhale. Slow the inhale. And know that you did something really good for yourself. Sit and meditate with your breath. Relax. And notice subtle shifts. That the mindful movement, the dumbbells, the breath, have all brought to your awareness now. Integration. What we wind up we want to spend time unwinding fully the resting recovery period. Five breaths, please. Breathing as slow as you can and rhythmically. Moving oxygen and carbon dioxide, increasing vitality at the cellular level. My name's Eddie Harold. It was great to be with you. Go be great.